Alright, what is going on guys? Rudlinol here, back again with more Python code, and we're going to be jumping into a new function called getMaxYx. Now, getMaxYx is interesting because what it will do is it will get the total amount or the, the, the actual size of a window. Now, typically that window is going to be your standard screen, because remember, that standard screen is your entire shell. It's the, the biggest window there is, the one with the utmost authority, and that sort of thing. I, I keep saying that a lot, but that's, that's the way I want you to envision it. The standard screen is typically the real screen. <laughs> All right. So get max yx will take a parameter, in our case, because we're using unicurses, that is going to be the window that we're looking for. So, let's take a look at this. If I were to go ahead and add the string, and I'll cast this to a string, get max yx. Now, yx, remember, is the order of the coordinates usage in n curses, and it's going to want to know what the screen ID is. We can pass in standard screen right here, right? Okay, good. So, get max yx is going to return a tuple or a very, very small list or an array, but you can't change it. All you can do is get the, get, get the information from it. So it's going to be integers inside parentheses. It's like a coordinate, but it's just the total and like the maximum amount of the x and y values. Okay, and that's a string, so we can add it to the screen, and then we'll just wait until we want to stop the program. All right, now when I get to my terminator, when I get to my shell here, I can run. Python curse02, because that's the file name that I have right now, and it's going to tell us 29 and 80. All right, so 29 is the amount of columns that we have all going along the y-axis, or at least, yeah, because going down this way, down, 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 and the 80 is the amount of, uh, all right, my terminal just flew away from me. Uh, there you are. <laughs> 80 is the amount of lines that we have going down this way. It's a difficult way of thinking about it, like I said, but you'll get it down eventually. 80 is we have this many possible horizontal values and usages. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is show you how we can kind of manipulate that. Because let's say, let's say we were making a game, you know, and we wanted to have our, our player. And our player would kind of start at the center of the screen, right? Okay, so we want to be able to know where that is. So we run our getMaxYx function, and that's going to give us um, our maximum x and our maximum y. But remember, these should be reversed, because we're working in end curses. And that's going to be getMaxYx from our standard screen. Cool, 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 cool. So now we can move to our max y divided by 2 and our max x divided by 2, because that is, after all, the center of the screen. And we can go ahead and add a string for, let's say, our character's person. Let's say uh, an at symbol, whatever, like you'd see in an email. And let's, let's run this. Let's see what happens here. In the very center of our screen, there's our character. That little, little teeny-weeny guy right there. <laughs> and that's great. I mean, we've moved relative to what the maximum screen information is. We can use this to actually sort of determine where things would go depending on the terminal size, or even the window size. It depends on how you want to use this getMaxYx function. But okay, <laughs> it's a pretty simple one. It's, it's easy. This is really all I wanted to show you. All it does is return a tuple of the maximum y and x coordinates on uh, a surface, whether or not it be your screen or any window. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.